Was that the one where it, where it said um, if your enemy is thirsty, you offer him a drink? Is that the one? Yeah, that's the later on. Yeah. Uh, so the point there was to provide fine things for the sight of all men. Hmm. Well, what do you think it means by that? Provide fine things for the sight of all men. Fine things in the sight of all men. Um, don't know what that means. <laughs> Um, a tree. I mean, if you were to, what would you would you know the word fine? What what does the word fine mean? Yeah. Um, it's it's fine. It looks looks nice. What if you said the girl's fine? Oh, yeah, she's fine. So what, what are you saying about her? She's cute. She's fine. Um, I like her manner and the way she looks. It is sort of such a good quality. Good quality, yeah. yeah. So when it says like provide fine things, it means fine things of good quality. Something of oh, quality. Oh. This is provide fine things in the sight of all men. It's saying different quality things. Like don't. Right. Don't bring shame upon yourself. Oh, so if someone's being negative, don't 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 point out they're being negative. Just. Well, provided fine things, you see your behaviour is always fine, it's always good, it's always well, it's quality. When they look at Blake and say, oh, no, Blake would be interested in that kind of Oh, right, yeah, perfect. Because he's always, when I see him, he's always, no, he looks like a steady guy. He Pretty much. Like he's someone who's always, he's always caring about other people, he's always thinking about this, he's always... He's a good guy. You know what got, me, got my goat the other, the other night? Um, uh, a, guy, a guy stopped me on the street, he, he drinks with Clayton. And it sort of threw me, of course, thinking do I have to change tact here because um, he's, he's been saying um, there's a certain guy in that pub who doesn't like you. And he goes, why doesn't he like me? Because he thinks you're too friendly, you're too nice, and like, and you're always trying to kiss ass and, and people please. And, and I said, ain't that a good thing? It's not always a good thing. So, so why isn't it a good thing? Well, what, next, what am I doing wrong the next, here? The next scripture kind right. of puts you in perspective. Hmm. It says, if possible, as far as it depends upon you. Yes, if possible. If possible, as far as it depends upon you. What does that mean? It well, depends upon you. When it says as far as it depends upon you, when it's within your power, when, when, as much as you can, when it's you, you're making the decision here, be peaceable with all people. Hmm. But why it's saying if possible, it's saying that sometimes it's impossible. Right. And it's sometimes possible. it doesn't depend upon you. You right. can do all the right things, right? But somebody still doesn't want to be peaceful with you. So if I'm exhausted to the point of nausea, I think it's time for me to stop. Well, in the what do I do? As far as it depends upon you, he's saying that take the weight off my you, shoulders. You need to always try to be peaceful. Yes, that's right. Re regardless of what they do, you as as long as you well, have the power to. You need to be peaceable. Well, I'm naturally peaceable, but then, time, then sometimes it gets to the point where it becomes unnatural, where I'm just working too hard at it. I think that's where I've got to stop. I, I think I should just be peaceable to, to my natural capabilities, and then when I when I find myself exhausting myself with it, then that's where I run myself into like a crossroads and I lose my temper. But so maybe I, there, there comes a, a, a line where, where I draw and go, hold on. But I think there's, there's also there's a line where... What it doesn't mean I'm going to cross the line and like, be unpeaceable. I don't yeah. want to do that. As far as it depends on <laughs> Some people just want to fight. Right. So you staying in their presence and you, you trying to be nice to them sometimes is counterproductive. Right. Because if someone just wants to fight with you, it doesn't matter what you say, how nice you are to them, what you do, all they want is to fight. So in that situation, it's better to just leave them because that's actually causing peace. By staying there, you're actually oh, not, right. it's not actually adding to the peace. I'm the 500 pound elephant in the room, right? So I've got to go. Yeah, but well, just that's with some people because some people really have an attitude problem. They have the issue. They're the why not, why not make them more upset? The, the thing is, it's, if somebody wants to fight, mm -hmm. Uh, as, as you know, so yeah. if somebody wants to fight you, can you do anything to stop? No. So, when it exacerbate the situation more if I leave and then they start bitching about me behind my back and then they get a rally of troops up for me, yeah, he's wrong and the carry left. Yeah, but 
If you are looking at to be in the peaceable, what, which avenue makes you peaceable? Leaving the situation or standing your ground? Makes me peaceable because it's all about my peace, right? It's about your, it's not just about your peace, it's about being peaceable in general. Peaceable in general. So it's, it's peace within you. Yeah. Peace in the area, peace with the person, peace. I know. General sense of peace. I'll give you an example because I've got these um these these mates that come around every now and again, and they know I'm a bit hot headed sometimes at times, but they always get me um they always get me misinterpreted, and they've sort of like cut me off because they realise I'm nothing but drama when I don't mean to be. I'm just in those situations, and they're peaceful in a way because I I could be right in the raving, and then and then 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 then, 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 then the mate will say to me, I'm off I'm off home now and going my mum. Yeah. And that's him being peaceable. But um but I know for a fact that I'm not upset with him. I just shake his hand and I see you again. Yeah. Although I'm a bit frustrated that he doesn't see it my yeah. way. Like why I am not hot headed, you just get me wrong every but, time. I mean, you call me at a bad time again, mate. If but, he stayed but, and carried on arguing with you, would it promote peace? It, it wouldn't because then because uh, I wanted to see it from my point of view. But if and he's then, never if he's never gonna see it from your point of view. But I want him to because I'm I'm a peaceful guy on the flip side. But I can see his point. But at least it gives him peace. And it kind of put me at peace. No, it doesn't really. I'm still frustrated. But, I mean, if you so why, why not frustrate that guy if I leave? Just the way I but, get frustrated. I mean, if you're standing on the street, for example, mm. and you see two people arguing, one of them is getting up in the other person's face, but one just leaves, walks away. Mm. Which one would you say was the peaceable? The one who just walked away. Even though he left that person frustrated, right. the reason that person's frustrated is because they want to get a point or to achieve something. Yeah. But achieving that point is only going to end one way. Right. Because some people, they, they want to show that they, they're bigger than you. Yeah. Uh, and that they can boss you around or they can dominate you. Mm. The only way that's going to be for them to feel that they're able to done that is really going to end in violence because they're going to think, well, if, if unless you back down in front of them, yeah, it's only going to be two people fighting against each other. If he wants to All dominate right. you or, or to, to make a point that you're stupid and you know you're not stupid, right? How is he going to ever get any satisfaction from that? So I'm giving him satisfaction by walking away. That shouldn't frustrate him. Then. Well, it's it's not, it, the, the thing is, when you walk away, it takes away that. For example, if you think about a war, right. if somebody wants to take over a country, mm. there's only two things you can do. Right. Uh, let him, let him take it. You can either let him take it or you can fight him. Right. Let him take it. The thing is, you, you tell a country that they have to they let somebody just take their country. Very few countries would say, okay, yeah, just roll your army in. Because they're too proud. They want what they want. This is theirs. They're not going to give it up. So if I let him take it and walk away, won't the same situation happen again when I see him again, thinking that, he, that, that I'm so vulnerable that he's going to do it? So, so you you stand your ground better. What's the better but the thing idea? Is, if you stand your ground, if he stands his ground as well, mm. where is he going to go? Right. If you stand your ground and he stands his ground and none of you back down, what will what be the end of the result? Yeah. The end result's only war. Yeah. Because if he's not willing to back down, you're not willing to back down, it will escalate and escalate. So one of you does something stupid. Don't wars end that way though? Oh. But that's how wars start as well. But don't wars carry on and just drag it on? Like by walking away, does that like, but oh. If you think about it, if it's like, if a country wants to take another country, mm. if you allow them to just take the country, the wars end up without it at the beginning. Right, okay. Because they've taken what they've got, what they want. Mm -hmm. What is there to fight about anymore? Right. Whereas if you resist them, well, they're gonna take it eventually if they're stronger. But you're gonna lose hundreds of thousands of people's lives in the process. And right. at the end of it, they may take your country anyway. So what's the answer? Um, two options. Let's agree to disagree. I'm going now, or you win. I'm going now. Which one's the best answer? Either way. Either, Either way, they both yeah, I agree to disagree. You, you know what? It's more important to you than it is to me. Right. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Right. I mean, you can even say that. Well, it seems to be 
more important to you than it is to me. I mean, to be honest, either way, it makes no difference to me. I mean, because that pose another question when I say that. Who is he thinking? Um, you would be going like, it should be important to you. It's like the two things you said, both of them are. 